we've created the associate account, right? So associate token account. So it's now time for us to, you know, send or mint some token into that associate token account. How you do it is very simple. Um, let's duplicate this particular file. I'm gonna copy it and paste. Our code is 07 mint to it. So we're minting to associate token account and I'm just gonna remove the things that we need to rewrite. So for recipient account, we're just gonna leave it at recipient AT ATA, okay, associate token account. So now we can use this particular account. Uh, this is this person's main account. Remember, we created this associate account, and this is his associate account here. I've gone ahead and done a test, you know, uh, transfer into his account of 14 that mentors uh, channel token. So I think we can just complete it around. To here by sending an extra to you can see the transaction that I had here. So let's do it. I'm going to replace that. So now we have an associate token account. Okay. So I also want um, something called major unit per minor unit. Okay. So I'm say const major unit per minor unit. Okay. Please pay attention. This thing is just very simple and straightforward. A major unit is the conversion rate between, you know, for our of our token. You know that the token has two decimal place, and you know, um, and the major part is going to be tr uh, up to ten digits, and then this other minor part will be around, you know, two uh, digits. Let me just show you this. It's you know, so I'm go just going to say math dot power. So we're raising it to the power of ten. So this is just the simple mathematics that we use in multiplying our token. That is what we be seeing as the conversion rate when you know um, when this thing is is being minted. Okay. So now we have all the essential information that we need. We need the, we have the minor un units per major tokens, and we also have um, the recipient. It we have the token account. So let's create the signature, which is the, tra the transaction in this itself. It says signature is equal to await. The function we're calling this time is called the mint to function, which is coming from this Solana token. And in this mint to function, we need to pass in the connection at first as usual, and then the owner, the, the person that is paying for this transaction. And you can see the mint. The mint is a public key. It's talking about the token account, okay? And you can also see another one, um, the destination. Where is this? Where is this amount of to, uh, uh, that mentor's channel token going to? Which account? We now specify the uh, recipient ATA account, and then the mint authority. So who is the mint authority? If you come to this particular that mentors chan uh, channel token you find that the mint authority is actually this my account okay so this main account is the mint authority so that is where the command needs to be coming from if it's another um, a different owner of this token you know a different person other than the owner of this token try to perform this mint process is going to fail it has to be under that mint uh, Authority account, and it's that is why it didn't just request for the public key, but it's requesting for both the key pair, so that it will truly tell if you are, or the, the 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 performer of this transaction is the owner of that token. So let's go back. So um, which is I'll specify this owner, and then the amount that I want to mint into this person's account is six of my token, but then I have to make, uh, multiply it by. Uh, this major per unit, you know, times. At this point, we just want to list out this information here, so we can copy this piece of code. This should uh, display our results. So I'm going to 
do this okay so this is just a signature and this should be a transaction okay so and I'll say successful so successful and it will share us the link and which we can then check on the Explorer to confirm I would not be needing this you know so let's save that so we're ready to execute this code so I'm gonna just this is the same thing here hopefully let me do that 07 so when I run this piece of code it should perform that transaction okay it's successful and when I check on this place I just have to you see currently is is 14 you know uh, token that is in the that balance and there is no other transaction here but once I refresh this the new information will be captured here you can see that I have 20 token now and you can see that there is new transaction that has been recorded in here if you look at this transaction hash signature it's just about the same thing as this one here so there you have it you know in the next uh, part of this video we will do the transfer between transfer the token not Solana token but the DAP mentor token between accounts so we need to be able to do that so let's do that in the next part of this video